Hello, welcome to my pop-up studio. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make yourself a talking crow. Now, you can make this out of an A4 piece of paper or out of some origami paper or if you're feeling adventurous, you can also make it out of some newspaper. So let's get to it. If you have a rectangular piece of paper, you'll need to turn it into a square. Take a top corner and fold in line with the opposite long side. Now, fold the narrow section over itself in line with the folded paper. You can cut along this folded line or you can fold it the other way, which is what I'm doing, and then gently tear it. Once this section is removed, we have our square and we can begin to fold our crow. We already have one diagonal line, so we're gonna fold the other diagonal line and get our center point. Now, fold one side point into the middle, lining the side edge up with the middle line. Do the same on the other side. Flip your paper over and fold the two furthest points together. Turn your paper back over and you'll see two little pockets. Pull one little pocket out and flatten the outer edge along the midline. Do the same for the other side. Unfold your top points and lay flat. There'll be two little sticky uppy bits. These will become the crow's wings. Fold these flat one way and then fold them back the other way. Now fold the whole thing in half. I think this next part is the trickiest bit. Open up your folded paper and take hold of your little wings. These need to be pulled out gently there's a crease in the wing section that will line up with the edge of the larger triangle. This creates a three-pointed crown shape. Next, take the top middle point and fold it down in line with the sides. Okay, if you're still with me, you've done an amazing job and we are so, so close to finishing, so keep focused. Turn your paper and do a rabbit ear fold down on the left middle point. Only crease this to halfway down. Do the same fold upwards. Again, only creasing halfway. When you pinch these folds together, it creates the top part of the beak. Now, we'll do our rabbit ear fold on the other side. Again, only creasing halfway. Pinch these two sides together and do the same with the other side and you have a beak. All you do now is fold the two wings together and look, one talking crow. 
Oh dear, the crow needs to see, so let's draw an eye on him. Mm, much better. Go crazy and decorate your crow as wildly as you'd like. Well done. Wah, wah.